can remember. That was mad funny. That you laughed about like mad hard. Laughed about huh? That's probably um. <laughs> so we we just came back from a trip with George, and uh, my brother invited us on another trip. Mm -hmm. <laughs> George goes. Uh, if I go, I'm gonna be broke for the rest of my life. And that day after we go out, I'm going to cry myself to sleep. And when you guys ask me what's wrong, <laughs> I'm gonna say I don't want to hang out with you guys ever again. We're not friends anymore. Wow, the tears coming down my face. I'm gonna hang out you guys no more. But the sheets are. <laughs> oh my god, oh. that was funny. That was definitely funny. You know, I don't know man, I really like to think about these things sometimes and I'm like laying down like what's the last funniest moment I could think about right? Like just, that was definitely one, that was the first one that came to my mind and I try to like go back and just moments start to like kind of like come into my mind, moments that I feel like I'm not comfortable you know, speaking about yeah. right now cause like you know, but dude I start to think about like, like I don't know how people start finding like like, how people find comedy in, like, the weirdest things. <laughs> Honestly, like, like uh, Julian, for example, is, like, prime example of someone who finds comedy in anything. Like, like, anything. Like, like it could be the most, like, you could be at a funeral. The most serious thing ever is so, it could crack a joke. Like, it would be something <laughs> funny. Like, I'm like... But is that his like, way of, of reacting to the, to the context? That, that, that's the thing, like, yeah. Like, you could be like, oh, that's just how he copes. But I, it's just... Uh, to me, it's it's just um I think it's something that's dope. Yeah, like because they were laugh. Because I think I, I've been such a serious person for such a long time because of how I came up. You get me? Like just like I don't, I don't come from a comedic family, a funny family. So when I start to take certain things serious, it used to get me mad that somebody else would try to make light <laughs> of it, and it's like what? But then I learned to loosen up and start to like. I mean, that'd be kind of funny. <laughs> like you yourself, your mind starts to evolve yeah, yeah, and yeah. to think. And that, that that's kind of what I wanted to lead to with like the first initial question was like, you know, do you feel like you constantly evolve? I feel like I evolve every day. Like every sure, day. Yeah. Like I honestly feel like I think a little bit closer, a little bit deeper. And that's one way. I think that that evolution took months for me. You know I mean, to just like start to like just see start seeing everything as a joke because you should see everything as a joke try to make fun of anything mm -hmm. and everything you know what i mean but in like the book i mean it's one thing to make somebody the butt of the joke right because that person might definitely yeah. get butt hurt so you need to know who you deal with but it's definitely like a like a a thing like it's like i think that's one of the best things you can ever yeah. do for you sure. surround yourself with people that are funny that see the, like the funny things and everything yeah, you know yeah. like like right <laughs> I was just thinking, um, you know, you and Eddie are the worst people I know. Like, <laughs> I'm the worst people I know. The worst? Yeah, like, God! <laughs> so, Sheesh. you know, uh, I, I, really, I, I, I really don't get offended much. You, you know that. Like, you right. guys be screaming at nonsense yeah. about me, no show. And <laughs> yeah. I just go along with it. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, so, but the, the way I finally got to that point was that I realized, like, who are you? You know, right. sometimes we, we feel the need to be serious because we're like, you, shut up, man. Like, you know, and, and when you realize that, it's like, yo, you can have so much fun. There's things that we just sit down on this couch and we crack up. Crack up, definitely. Because, you definitely. know, and, and the same, like, oh, man, I, I, I get bored, right? Like, I get anxious bored. Like, mm -hmm. I'll sit down and I get bored and I'll stop doing stupid things. Yeah. And I'll start giggling about myself. <laughs> You know, like when I realized <laughs> how dumb I was, is that it allowed me to finally be myself. Like I didn't feel like I had to conform to people. Just yes. be an idiot. Like you know, that's my goal. My goal is always to be an idiot. Yeah, you, you actually find freedom in yeah. that. Like especially like, once you learn to laugh at yourself and you can learn to like to crack jokes back and stuff, you find just a freedom and you you become just more positive. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And and the reason I say is because I think um I always say like vibes is a thing. Yeah. I, I think that's that's just a thing. Like at this point, I used to always say, "Oh, I'm a vibes kind of person." I just think vibes is just a thing. Period. Yeah. I'm like I think I don't know. I'm not you know like I don't know a hippie person or whatever. Like I can't tell you chakras and I don't know about that. But I'm talking about just like there's just people that you can genuinely connect with. Yeah. When you first meet them mm -hmm. because they're just like you know joyful. Yeah, they're just happy people. You know, and there's people that are just 
more on the negative downside. So it just it, you know it, it fluctuates, but I feel like comedians are one of those people that are just like one of the most like bright and you know joyful i mean of course they all go through you know we all go through our things and i love the fact that even in comedy there's like different kinds of comedy right right like for example kevin hart is the icon of comedy but he his comedy is very different than someone like jude apatow i have no idea exactly but he's like a director of a lot of his funny movies like you know Mm -hmm. clever movies and whatnot And, and so you know, he's funny. He's funny. He's more like satirical, more like clever. Gotcha. Whereas Kevin Hart, he's it's, just like a loud, yeah, reckless like, way. Like, yeah, exactly. Kevin Hart's more like, uh, like I'm talking about this is what went wrong in my life, and I'm gonna make this like an animation <laughs> yeah. thing and just make it so like, like so you know, vivid. iconic. Because because yeah, yeah. the Kevin Hart definitely has those iconic like moments, you know, like long titty, no <laughs> and, Really? Yeah, really. Like you know, it's just iconic, iconic moments. Tall. But, I don't want to talk. Oh, <laughs> small. There you go. Um, that was, yo, that Starbucks joke is great. <laughs> oh my goodness, that joke was a masterpiece. If you love Starbucks, raise your hand. All right, now I know who. <laughs> Fuck all of you. <laughs> great joke, and I mean, it's, it's these guys that just bring like a like this this, and it's, it's not just comedians though. It's it's just people that that, that can know s- how to be exactly, joking. Yeah. People that like in the most serious moments can just rank you and make people laugh those are the people that call you i think your brother is like an expert at first that. of all that guy and cannot be serious ex- ever 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 i think your brother is an expert at like things will be like serious people will be people have serious moments and he'll come up with like and cut all right you do it better next time like it's like no like i just put my heart out don't make me yes. make a show Ex- oh <laughs> chris don't make me make a show you already making a show! Oh, <laughs> iconic, iconic. Yo, you know that has iconic moments Yo, in that our guy, guy. That guy for really sure. does. Really. So, you see, like, uh, people like that can, you know, it, they, it's like they see the world through a different lens. And like you said, perspective is everything. Like, like it is. Like, that's a, a, a way of, of viewing mm-hmm. things different. You know what I mean? So, like, you, it, it, you know, we're all emotional people. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah, regardless yeah. of whether you're a serious person or not, you're, we're all emotional no matter what. You know what I mean? There's no, like... Oh, I'm heartless. Like you're not really heartless. Like yeah. you might be saying you just you're heartless. Hurt. <laughs> like you, you might be saying like you know you're heartless in a way of like oh I'm just you know, nah I'm showing no emotions. But you are showing yeah, emotion by doing that, right? There's people that are just over emotional. There's people, you know. But when when you get to experience other people's points of views, I think that that's when we start to really grow mm-hmm. and really understand yeah, yeah, sure. and really like get a grip of what life can really be. You get me because. We're so used to just living within our terms, within like the people that we are. Then you know your circle should be diverse, you yeah. know, with different people. You start getting different points of views, and that's how you grow as a person. Mm-hmm. You get me? So, you know, you know, you know, it's it's one, one thing that is important is learn to laugh at yourself. Man. Like bad things happen to us all the time, but we get to choose how we react. Yes. Right. Definitely. Like, you know, there's times that I probably should have cried and I just started <laughs> cracking up in the middle of like, like, I'm telling you, him and my brother do verbal bullying. Like, that is bullying. <laughs> and I should probably be embarrassed and I should be scared, but I'm like, who cares? You know, like, I guess, and I'm not like, scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they should be scared, bro. But, uh, you know, but, but we'll go through some of the dumbest yeah. things ever. You know, and, and things are going to happen to you, but it's, it's better to laugh than to cry. It's better to just, you know, make a joke out of it because it makes for a great story in the end. Mm-hmm. Right? And, you know, I, I think at the end of it all, man, it's um, it's it's this thing called life. Like, that we, we learn to laugh at ourselves and we learn to just enjoy ourselves. We just become more positive. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and I think that that's very important for us to start just look like you know, like you said, being grateful and just looking at things and being like, damn, like like this is what I have, you know what I mean? Not what this is happening, yeah. you know what I mean? So I think that that's just like overall the whole thing is just like, you know, a more positive mindset and um and we just become way better people. Yeah. Better human beings. So knock knock. Who's there? Yeah, I forgot the joke. What's the one that the guy said? Uh not the one you said, because that was really bad. Which one? The one you wrote down that you uploaded? Which one did I upload? I didn't upload You sent it to Monsters Inc? A knock knock one? Which one did I do? Knock knock. Who's there? Bang. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> this. <laughs> yeah, they didn't say my joke, man. They didn't use my joke. 
Oh, man. Say, I say. forgot. Say no, I'm not going to say it. Say it. It's related to our joke, and we have children in the age. First of all, you kind of like a mother sucker, so. I'm tr- look, guys. One of my missions is going to be to lower down the ground. Okay, so. Knock okay, out. Who's there? Say it. <laughs> who's there? I'm not saying that. <laughs> Just no. say it. Okay, fine, fine, fine. <clears throat> Knock knock. <laughs> you get serious now? Knock Who's knock. There? Knock knock. Who's there? Bitch, knock knock. Let's look at that joke in here. Look, man, I don't, I don't want to say that joke, man. All right. Look, man. The so when was, was I, yes, go ahead. Go ahead. The point was to just, release us. Just ra- laugh, laugh, laugh. And if you always are around serious people, then you become the person to laugh. You become the person to make the jokes, right? We need some lighthearted people in our life, man. Mm-hmm. Life is short. Make it count. Laugh a lot. Cry a lot. You know? Extreme emotions. Those are the greatest emotions. Exactly. Evolve. Evolve as people. That's that. That's what we're here to do is that, is how we continue to grow. You know, um, we're going to make a reaction video real soon. For sure. I, um, after um, Girls in the Club, your boy, he's getting smoked. Your boy Goody out here has been getting, getting smoked. smoked. Goody though, not George. George is a good guy. All right, George is okay. a good guy, but Goody, oh, okay. smoke. So um, we're definitely gonna make a reaction video because um, at the end, it's it's, it's how we learn anyway. Mm-hmm. You get me? Like that's how I learn. Like I might think a certain yeah. way today, and this is how I'm I I'm viewing things, and with your comments and how you guys are like, you know. Coming through, and I love it. First, I love the smoke. Let's get on. I'm loving it every second of it. But you know, no matter how you come, I'm I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna read, and I'm gonna understand where you're coming from. That's gonna give me a different point of view. You get me? And even if I don't agree with you at the end, I still have a different point of view. You get me? I still have a different point of view in the arsenal. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It doesn't mean I'm not using yeah, it. But I still have it. So um, yeah, man. Keep keep bringing that smoke, cause. I'm here all day, man. I'm here all day, right? Yeah. So with that being said, man, we want to thank y'all for watching. We appreciate the comments that you guys have been leaving. We appreciate the support so far. Uh, we've been going two videos a week strong so far. We're getting faster mm-hmm. at editing, and you know, so hopefully soon, you know, we're gonna up it up the content. You know, try to challenge the content quality yep. and what we come up with. Um, if you guys want us to talk about something specific that you may think that we might bring some light to, some funniness, bring it on in the comments, DM us, me, Chris, or I'm down. Um, you know, all the information in the description. Y'all know where to come and get us. Um, find us. Holla at us. Show us some love. Bring the smoke. I want all the smoke. I want all the blame. Like my dog Ye saying. That's some Mario's. Yes. Just a game. Just a game. Bang! That's it.